I am so ready for October 24. We just got our first real trailer for City Skylines 2. Uh, we got a teaser uh, a little bit earlier, but that teaser did not have any in-game footage. Uh, and what we're getting in this particular trailer is in-game footage and a lot of stuff that we can really get into in depth, try to analyze just to get a feel for uh, what we're going to be experiencing with, with City Skylines 2. So I'm excited. Let's, let's go through uh, uh, the trailer. Let's see what we can kind of figure out and, and as we get ready for October 24. I know it's just a black screen with some words, but this is one of the most exciting parts of the trailer. All footage captured in game. That is exciting because it's not something where it's just stylized. This is actually what we're going to be seeing when we're playing the game. And that's to me is as exciting. And, and then look at this. Now look carefully. You can see speed limits on on the road and I think it's interesting that they start this out with the roads from what I have seen and from what I have heard you're going to have an easier experience with the road process creating roads linking roads if you've watched any of my videos you know that sometimes the process of, of, of setting up a road network can take a little bit longer than you'd like it to be so from everything that i've seen and heard i think roads is going to be uh, an easier process but look at that look at the realism this looks wonderful you can see it looks like there's a i see a gas station here i see a variety of houses some single family i see some multi-family uh, one of the things that I'm curious to see is I've heard rumors that there's going to be mixed use. So the first floor is going to be a, a grocery or some other type of shop and then apartments on top. We'll see if that if that happens. But look at the detail. Look at the rendering. I like how you can even see it across the water. Look at the buildings there. Nice, nice. Let's go back. Now that roundabout is not a roundabout that you could create with vanilla City Skylines 1. Um, one of the things that it looks like is happening is that a lot of the more popular mods are being blended into the vanilla game. And I, I like that. And I'm really curious. I keep looking at these buildings here. And some of these buildings do appear to be mixed use. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to see how you would zone for that. But And then you look again. Let's go back to the roads. These roads really indicate that the vanilla game is going to have uh, some features that you would only have gotten if you had gotten mods trains going through the roads a nice level of realism and look at the trees look how realistic the trees look that's that's amazing another good shot another roundabout that you probably would need a mod in order to create look at this building back there i like this transition from a little bit rural into your urban area really nice i see trams We knew that uh, a day-night cycle was going to be in the game. It's it's in the current city skyline, so we knew that. But the, the level of realism looks a lot more pronounced. I like this date, this nighttime shot. This is nice. Did you see that Aurora Borealis? Uh, it says everything is in-game footage, so... You see that in the sky, the Aurora Borealis? That would be a lot of fun if that is is something that we can view. 
So we go from nighttime to day. Look at the sunrise. That's very SimCity 5. That how the morning is kind of in that morning orange glow, if you will. Nice. Now let's get into some more detailed. So this is the terraforming tool. You can see brush size, brush strength, and you've got some options as far as the terraforming. I am looking at the user interface and, and it's not going to be a, a dramatic difference from what we're used to. Um, city builders, you're pretty much, you know what you're going to get. I'm looking at the name of the city, of course, the date, uh, the weather. I, I, it, I do see the season. It says spring, um, our dollar amount that we have in the city, population. Uh, what's interesting is when you see the population at 5,789, then you see this icon over here. So that tells me that there's something that we can click here um, that's going to give us more information about the population right there. That's probably our policies that, that we can set. Um, but the user interface, what I like is it looks like the user interface is a lot cleaner I see where our zones are. I see another icon that is possibly for, for districts. I see, of course, power, water, um, recycling that might be garbage, education, health, police, transport. Those icons are very similar to the current Sims, uh, City Skylines icons. Um, so this is, this is cleaner. But I think when you get in, it's going to be so familiar to what we're used to with, with City Skylines. Now that, let's go back. Look at that. That is SimCity 4, where you can create entire neighborhoods. You can drag it out. So you drag it out, and then you've got your zones. That is going to be a lot of fun. That's going to save you some time, save you some effort. Um, but that is something that I've not experienced or, or dealt with since SimCity 4. We've got the mode for the tools. And you can see it's highlighted right there where you can make that grid. So you've got your straight road, curved road, two types of free form. Then you've got your um, the grid. And I'm not sure that might be for a, a circle or a roundabout, different types of roads, one way, one lane, two way, two lane, three way. So this is the um, the one the one way or the one lane road. This might be for two. But wait a minute, no, this is one, two, three lanes. I'm not sure, but this is probably taking us from basic roads up to highways. You see that? That looks like a, a sign over a highway. And then that might be a tool for creating an intersection. I don't know, but I'm curious. I can't wait. And I like how you can set the elevation to the road. And then look at all of these snapping options as well. How do you snap things? on the road is what I'm assuming that is. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait for that feature. Now look at that. Let's go back. So now you see we're now on this particular freeform tool. And when you draw the road, the zoning disappears. So maybe that tool says, I want to draw a road, and I do not want any zones on that road. See that? 
there is an extremely intricate intersection there. And this is the vanilla game. These, there are no mods, but I like this. I like the realism. This looks uh, more realistic than City Skylines 1. I'm curious to see what the hardware requirements are as far as, as playing the game. I'm sure you're going to be able to play it at medium, high, ultra, but I, I can't wait to see what, what those requir requirements are. Look at that. So that is, we are in residential mode because you've got residential, commercial, industrial. That has to be office building. I'm not sure what that is, but that's residential. But the thing is, if you look at residential, there are six residential modes. That has to be, that's single family. That could be, or this one, one of these two, could be that mixed use and this is maybe your first level of of um, multifamily another level and then this might be where you start to get into high rise the thing that's also interesting is it's talking about the suitability so how suitable is an area for residential residential signature buildings that's going to be interesting to find out what a signature residential building is but that's this is this is thrilling this level of of control that we're going to have i also see where you can pick your theme and the tool mode you see the tool mode so you can paint the zones, yeah, you know, will paint you, what you're putting into the zones, or you can plop it down, very similar to the current city skylines. Okay, so now we have what's clicked is the office, and we have two different types of office, uh, probably a more suburban office le level and then your uh, urban, and then uh, another suitability, office suitability. So what areas, what roads are, are best suited for offices? So you're going to have to really put a little bit more thought into where you put things, which is, which is going to be fun. I can't wait to experience that. Look at that, look at the road tool. So. We've now, we're clicking on that, and you see that? I think this has to be highway. You've got your different levels of, of road here, and then you get up to highway, and it's even showing you the elevation, the angle, um, standard highway, and then you're getting into your one-way, one lane. Maybe these are on-off ramps. Um, But we're back in this freeform tool. This is what I'm excited about. I cannot wait to get started with, with these highways. Look at that. Look at how easy they make So we're still on that highway tool, straight line, parallel mode. So maybe you can do two roads parallel to each other. And you've got the option of the type of bridge. So if you remember in city, and this is, this is just purely a guess, but if you remember in city skylines, we would do a road if i'm doing a bridge i would have to go this way and then for the other way the other part of the bridge i'd have to go that way and sometimes they wouldn't match up 
but parallel mode so when I draw the bridge when we draw the bridge see that one way this way one way going in that direction but it's being drawn at the same time that is going to save an incredible amount of time and effort now watch this this is a university and look at the information on uh, the upkeep the efficiency the number of employees students it gives you how much time it takes for them to graduate from school the dropout rate the level of detail uh, so if you're wanting to get into that that management portion of running a city and understanding and having lots of, of information to dig into you're going to get that but one of the things that I'm curious about is see that so you got the university and then so ploppable or, or, or you click and it builds on that's very SimCity 5 like and up until now, SimCity 5 was the only, one of the only games in which you could plop like that. So this is a, a nice progression. Look at this residential area. So I see some purple. So these are going to be offices. And I bet you these are those lower level offices. They don't become skyscrapers. Here is our residential, and this is something that has been plopped in the middle, and I'm thinking that this might be a police station, and then a more upgraded police station. I think you're going through the levels, and then you've got your snapping set up here. So I don't know what those two snapping icons mean, but you can do some snapping, but when they do snap it let's play it when they snap it people are happy I'm assuming that's happiness you drop down this tram station you look at the information I like this that gives a nice overview of your different forms of, of public transportation I see my lines here so here's the station this is the line you can probably set the color here is whether it's you know which way is it two ways one way and then this is where you this is very similar so this is a upgraded version of what we currently have in city skylines this is where you set your loop and as you can see the loop is purple just like this so this would be the purple line I'm assuming and then I'm sure at some point you can name the line as well interesting a lot of these houses have these thought bubbles so this is where you could maybe find out information about each home this is the tram so you can see where it says it's it's where it's going you get some information about the line you can name it the number of passengers these are the stops this it this emblem is more than likely where the tram is right now and then the various stops unless this is the the station but the state that wouldn't make sense I would think this is the actual let, well let's play it and see if it moves it may not last long enough to see it move yeah it's moving Yep, do you see that? Great. Three eight nine Hamilton Street. They are happy. This is the level fifteen sixteen households, residents, average wealth. Okay, let's see something. So this is the building. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you may be able to click on each one of these and get fine detail on each level or each household within this building. So in current city sky, skylines, you could get information like this. It may not be as pretty, so this is a more updated, but now you can even drill down even more. So you could spend a lot of time just on one building. I wonder what this icon means. Do you see that? Another modular. So advanced furnace, a more efficient burn process allows the same power output with less fuel. So you can click and see that? You can upgrade it. So you place it and then as you need, you can upgrade. And look at how cool it looks. If you think about the current coal power plant or any of the power plants, they don't, they don't look like this. This is going to be a lot of fun just like some of the other buildings, upkeep, efficiency, employees, uh, electricity production, how much coal is stored, ground pollution, air pollution, noise pollution. These icons, some of these icons are carryovers from City Skylines 1. You all know that I love these data layers and it looks like we're going to get more of them. So this is uh, air pollution, average air pollution probably for the entire city. But this is air pollution for this particular area. And this particular area here, it's it's looks like it's in the orange, not in the rain, not in the red. So this particular area is polluting, but it's not horribly, <laughs> horribly polluting. Look at all of these. Now this just looks like an upgraded version of the user interface. Uh, this this data that you can click. Your main services, some secondary services. Then your this is probably government, school. This looks like transportation. Um, not sure what that is. There's there are your your. Um, residential, commercial, industrial, office, all at a glance. This is nice. This could be wonderful. That smiley face is, if it's the smiley face that I'm used to using in SimCity, that's going to be awesome where at one click I can get an idea of the overall happiness of the residents. Yeah, police, jail availability. So this red... may show where police coverage is, but I wouldn't think you would do that in red. So we'll have to find out what the crime probability. Look at that. So they're placing the police station and the crime po probability, red, high crime probability, the green low crime probability. So your probability of crime here is not as high as you would find there. More levels here of just understanding. Let's see here. Traffic volume. And you can probably change the traffic, the view depending upon what you're trying to find out. This is a specialization. Different natural resources, oil, ore, wood, fertile land. So very similar to what we're currently experiencing with city skylines. And if you want to get into, uh, say, drilling for oil or chopping down trees or, or doing some farming 
this is for forestry so this would be the wood and yeah as you can see that the numbers indicate that look at that level of detail look at those trees look at that that is a nice shot that that is a that looks like a football stadium to me i'm trying to figure out what type of an, a place this is is it another stadium or what look at the bridges and now that i know that you can do these bridges parallel to each other uh, really nice level of detail and then that is really nice to see how you go from your seasons watch how everything goes from green to covered in snow nice very nice your your seasons and your day night cycle are going to be more important parts of the gameplay oh look at this this is going to be so much fun I can't wait. I'm sorry. I cannot wait for October 24. This is going to be excellent. Um, I'm going to be going through this trailer more and more and trying to see if I see anything else that jumps out at me. If I do, I'll, I'll do an updated version of this. But uh, the trailer just came out, went through it several times, and I wanted to share what I see um with you but yeah october 24 is going to be a lot of fun that's going to be that's going to be a great day because i think this is going to be a nice evolution of city skylines one and it's going to bring in some of the features from sim city 4 and sim city 5 that that work but um, I appreciate you spending time with me. This was a lot of fun. I cannot wait for this to come out. Like I said, if I see anything in the trailer that I didn't cover, um, I'll, I'll do a follow-up. Uh, but uh, we will see you soon. Take care.